Heads up, Simcoe County, there's a risk of severe weather tomorrow, August 3rd, 2022. Uh, this is what's going to be happening across southern Ontario. A cold front is going to move across southern Ontario from the west, and this cold front is going to move through an environment with a lot of energy, and there's going to be a lot of wind shear as well. So we're expecting a line of severe thunderstorms to develop along this cold front. It over southwestern Ontario, this line may even develop in Michigan, cross Lake Huron, and then enter southwestern Ontario. And then after a few hours, this line of thunderstorms is going to move out of southwestern Ontario and move towards central Ontario. This is where there's a risk of severe thunderstorms in the western part of Simcoe County and areas like Collingwood, Wasaga Beach, and Clearview Township near the boundary with gray county there's a risk of severe thunderstorms just because the environment in this area is still going to have a sufficient amount of energy and a sufficient amount of wind shear for severe weather as the system moves eastward into areas such as barry springwater township uh new tecum seth or at jala tozerantio or even midland Penetanguishing, the energy is going to start dropping off. And that means the atmosphere is becoming more stable in this area. And we expect that the thunderstorm is going to start to dissipate. But there's still a marginal risk of severe weather in this area because we just don't know how quickly the storm will dissipate. So if there are some severe features in that thunderstorm, they may persist a little bit as it, as it translates over these areas of Simcoe County in the orange, as the storm moves off towards the east, most of the models are showing that there really isn't going to be any energy in the eastern part of Simcoe County. So by the time the storm is over by Aurelia or Romera or even Severn Township, we're expecting the atmosphere to be stable in this area. So the storm should start to dissipate as it moves eastward across Simcoe County. And by the time it's over there, we're really expecting that the severe features will die off and there won't be a really any risk of severe weather out there. The main risks that are expected during the severe weather outbreak on August 3rd will be heavy downpours, damaging winds, and a tornado is possible. We're seeing that there is enough wind shear for the development of a severe thunderstorm, which could produce a tornado. Uh, let's just be clear. And if there is a tornado on the ground in southwestern Ontario, that could push across into the western part of Simcoe County. We're also seeing that there's a risk of damaging winds. Uh, a line of severe thunderstorms, uh, also known as a squall line, can produce these, these damaging winds. That's supported by the fact that a cold front is moving through, pushing through uh, a very hot and humid air mass. So when that occurs, you usually get winds as, as the cold air pushes underneath that warm air mass. We're also seeing a lot of energy for thunderstorm downdrafts, which is going to contribute to the fact that there could be damaging winds <clears throat> and heavy downpours possible with a high amount of moisture in the air, a high amount of precipitable water. So that's a quick look at what we're expecting for tomorrow. And I'll be in touch tomorrow with either an update on the severe weather or perhaps some severe weather footage.